Hi, welcome to our uh, Pharma Topics channel. Welcome to the 14th series of uh, the study material related to food safety officer examination. In this, we are going to see three things. One is uh, Spices Board of India, Tea Board of India and Coffee Board of India. Spices Board of India was constituted on 26th February 1987 under the Spices Board Act 1986. Its current chairman is uh, A.G. Tangappan. Headquarters is Kochi. It promotes the export of uh, spices, monitors the quality of uh, spices, and Kardamom Research Institute was established. It guides the farmers, provides uh, scientific agricultural practices, it encourages organic uh, food production, and it also provides educative materials in a variety of media for the benefit of exporters and importers. The Spices Board comes under the Ministry of uh, Commerce and uh, Industry. Uh, the promotion of organic uh, products production and certification is by this board. Spice Board constituted in the year 1987 under the Spices Board Act 1986. Uh, with the different uh, laboratories, uh, the Spice Board uh, makes uh, mandatorily the quality checks for the spices exported from India. Spices are sold under the brand Flavor It by this Spice Board. Now they have launched an yeah, online campaign, Spices Train. So this Spices Train is an online campaign to educate the Indians about the country's rich spice heritage. Spice Board provides information on several spices grown, uh, grown and exported from India. Let us see about Coffee Board. Coffee Board, the current uh, chairman is uh, Sri M.S. Boje Gowda, uh, appointed in 2021. Uh, it is appointed, uh, uh, the chairman is appointed under sub rule 1 of the rule 3. It comes under the act of uh, Coffee Act uh, 7th of uh, 1942. This board comprises uh, 33 members. It has statutory committees, uh, which is executive committee, propaganda committee, marketing, research, development and quality committees. The core activities are primarily directed towards research and development transfer of technology all these play a vital role in export of coffee and in the uh, sale, sale in the domestic markets let us see the history <clears throat> the uh, in the 16th century itself coffee was uh, pl coffee plantation started but during the commercial production started in the british period in the 18th century in india coffee is traditionally grown in western ghats spread over karnataka kerala and tamil nadu at present it is rapidly the business is expanding to non traditional areas like andhra pradesh and odisha and northeastern states this uh, constitutes to about 65 to 70% of the coffee produced in the country is exported while the rest is consumed within the country there are two types of uh, coffees one is uh, coffee arabica and coffee robusta in the earlier days in the 18th century, uh, only coffee arabica was available. It was uh, present in the Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu states. Within the few years after that, outbreaks of pests and diseases uh, like white stem borer, green bug disease, all these caused uh, the less production of uh, the coffee arabica. This necessitated uh, the introduction of tolerant robusta from Indochina region towards 19th century as a remedial measure. Let us see the tea board. Uh, India Tea Says Bill was passed in 1903. In 1938, the Indian Tea Control Act was passed. Central Tea Board Act was constituted. Uh, it was passed in 1949. Tea Act in 1953. And uh, on 1st April uh, 1954, Tea board uh, set up under the section 4 of Tea Act 1953 was constituted. The current chairman of Tea board is uh, Prabhat Kamal uh, Bezro Bura. Uh, the head office is uh, West Bengal. Foreign offices are at uh, Dubai and uh, Moscow. The Tea board uh, consists of uh, 31 members including the chairman and the members uh, from uh, tea traders, tea brokers, consumers and representative of governments from the principal tea producing states and the trade unions. And this board is reconstituted every three years. Like coffee board, it has standing committees. 
in tea the tea cess is levied on uh, the teas produced in india under section 251 of the tea act 1953 so it collects up to 50 paisa per kilogram of uh, tea produced in india currently however the cess is collected at the rate of 30 paisa per kg excepting darjeeling tea where, where uh, which is only 12 paisa is uh, levied the tax is uh, levied by central excise department it collects and credits to consolidated fund of india after deducting the expenses of collection i hope it's a short information of the spice board coffee board and tea board uh, this uh, you can expect some of the questions uh, in the uh, food safety officer examination i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel if you like this video kindly press the like button go through all the series and succeed in your examination thank you